And we're here at the Shell stand, and joining me now is Andrew Vaughan. He is the country chair for Abu Dhabi. Thank you so much, Andrew, for taking the time. Now, you've been in this position as country chair for over a year, but of course in the region a long time. But tell me, how has it been in the region? Has it been a busy year for you? It's been a great year for Shell in the region. In Iraq, we've taken the Majnoon field to over 200,000 barrels a day, and our Bazar gas project is now producing 500 million scuffs a day, collecting associated gas and turning that into real products, so good for the environment as well. Uh, Qatar goes from strength to strength with our GTL plant. We're supporting the Kuwaitis with uh, their Jurassic gas projects. And here in Abu Dhabi, of course, it's a transition. Uh, we, uh, the ADCO concession expired at the beginning of the year. We're very keen to get back into that, so by the end of the year, hopefully, we'll be back in full strength. And also, our BAB gas project is, is now at the front end, so we're beginning to do the engineering for that processing sour gas to bring new gas to the country. So it's been a really good and very busy year. Absolutely, it sounds like it. How, how important particularly is Abu Dhabi for Shell? Abu Dhabi is a great place for us to showcase our technologies. Abu Dhabi is going to become a very mature province in years to come. So where it's been relatively easy oil for the last 75 years, the next 15 to 20 years are going to see it become a lot more complicated. And what we bring to the party is skills in enhanced oil recovery. So that is the way we will get to the recovery factor of 70%, which ADNOC aspire to. In addition, we're bringing new technologies to the sour gas play. Not only do we bring our, our sour gas treatment technologies, but we're bringing robotics. We want to try and make those plants really safe, take people away from the hazardous areas of the plant and use robots to do the work instead. And one thing which we think is really important is to consider water. As oil fields mature, they produce more and more water. So over time, ADCO and ADMA will become water companies, and then we'll have to process that water. Can we do that in a clever way so that we can use the wastewater for agriculture, for enhanced oil recovery? We think there's lots more to be done in that field, and we'll be working very hard with ADNOC over the next few years to look at that. Super. Well, you have, you're demonstrating some of this technology here now on the stand. Um, tell me just a little bit about um, this specific uh, piece of technology here in terms of the enhanced rec oil recovery. Okay, so, so this, this here is a, it's a maquette. It shows the various techniques you can use for water. For example, you can use reed beds uh, to absorb the water, take out the contaminants and then produce clean water as the end. Water can be re-injected into the ground and turned into fresh water below the sea. Desalinated water can be used in the oil field production process. And this just demonstrates what some of those technologies uh, might look like in a schematic form. Now, of course, the uh, area here focusing very much on gas and really building up the gas processing here and building up the gas quantity. Um, this is an area, too, of course, where, where Shell shines, really, and you can add a lot of value in that area. Absolutely. Shell actually produces more gas now than we do oil because we see gas as, as being the fuel of the future. Um, it's a, a lot more efficient when it comes to uh, power generation. Against coal, for example, it releases uh, half the CO2 that coal does. Gas is abundant. There's an awful lot more gas around than there is oil, over 200 years supply uh, at current consumption, and it's very affordable. So in terms of energy supply, gas, we believe, is the fuel of the future and very, very important for Abu Dhabi. Now, tell me what else you're doing in the region. Obviously, the technology driving it, too. Talk to me about capacity building here. Very important for us. Part of our co corporate social responsibility, if you like, is building capacity in youth. We're particularly concerned that we look at the development of science uh, and engineering as the skills which the youth have. There's a shortage worldwide of people to come into our industry and into other industries as well. So anything we can do to encourage young people to study science, study engineering and develop careers in that is something we'll, we'll, be, we'll be very uh, keen on. So we work with the Emirates Foundation, we work with the higher colleges of technology, we work with the Petroleum Industry uh, Institute, sorry, focusing very much on developing capacity in youth. Um, and also in terms of health and safety, this is another issue I imagine, part, part and parcel of the training as well, ongoing, continually updating people's skills and really focusing on health and safety. Absolutely. So health and safety, number one for us, particularly in the hazardous environments we work on. So we work very much now on, on what we call worker welfare. So taking safety away from just compliance, taking it away from, from putting safe equipment in place and actually caring about the workers so that everybody goes home safe at the end of the day. Our target is goal zero. No injuries, no incidents, no fatalities certainly. And the way we do that is to care for the people, every individual, uh, when they go to work. What do, how has it been here for you? You've been very busy every time we come by the stand and that's why I'm thrilled we had a minute to talk to you. How has Adipec 2014 been? 
uh, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, wow, what a, what a conference, what an exhibition. Um, it's been the busiest one we've seen yet. We've had a huge number of visitors to the stand. I took some time off yesterday to walk around the exhibition, meet a few of the contractors, which, which was great. Everybody's very enthusiastic. And the technical conference is, is second to it. It's really top class, really great papers, very, very good discussion. It just goes from strength to strength. Super. Andrew Vaughan, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.